Yes, you are reading that correctly. The McLaren 540C that I rebuilt on this channel has been crashed again. But before we get into that, I'd like to let you in on a little, little secret of mine. And that secret is why food. Why food has completely changed my day-to-day -day life. See, I'm a busy guy, I go to the gym in the mornings, I'm at work, I film videos, I'm editing, I'm up till late at night, and I'm always looking for a little snack or something that substitutes in for a meal because I'm sick and tired of constantly, constantly, constantly eating junk food. And then this is the answer to my question. It's easy to grab, it's a drink, it's a full meal replacement, it's got over 30 minerals and vitamins in there and it's packed full of protein. So it gives me all the energy I need to keep me fueled throughout the day and it gives me the power to push on and do all my tasks. When I'm hungry, I grab one of these, open it up, have a drink, and then I'm fueled, I'm not hungry, and I've got the energy because I struggle with energy sometimes, and this is just the answer to the, to the problem. Use my discount code HENRY10, go and get yourself a pack. I urge you to try it out and see if it changes your life as much as it's changed mine. If not, then it is just a fantastic snack that fills you up and tastes good as well, so you haven't got to feel guilty after it. Because I know pulling into the petrol station, trying to find something to eat all the time, you can put on a few calories, so this is the answer to the question. So I'm gonna have my drink, and then I'm gonna get talking about the GTR, and there's a couple of other things I need to address in the video. Oops! Five months ago, or it's about five months now, I bought that pink McLaren that you've seen so many times on the channel. It was an absolute write-off category S, and we rebuilt it back to the best standard you will ever see a repair done on a supercar. When I say it was flawless, it was flawless. And I drove it around for a few months, and it was perfect, there was no issues with it, and then it was time for her to go. Listed her on Auto Trader, and within three weeks, had unlimited phone calls. Literally, my phone was melting, it was like playing hot potato with my phone you know? Where is my phone? I don't know. But it was hot potato with my phone. After meticulously selecting the right person, because I didn't want to give the car to anyone, we found the right owner, and yeah, I was happy with it. Sold it to him, all going good. Flash forward to last Saturday night, I'm sat there eating my curry, thinking, ah, oh, what a lovely day this is. Cold shiver, get a bit of a cold shiver like that. Knew something wasn't right, couldn't quite put my finger on it at the time. Thought it might have been a dodgy curry, but it wasn't. So anyway, my phone uh, is pinging, my phone is pinging, and I'm getting TikTok notifications, Instagram messages, and then I open my phone and I see this photo of a pink McLaren been in the crash, and I was like, oh no, that ain't it. That's just an old photo of it. And then the more I got the messages through, I'm talking 25 different messages at this point, and TikTok comments on TikTok. So I've got no. So I've got uh, gone on my phone and text the lad whose uh, dad bought the car off me. I've got him on Instagram. Text him. Five seconds later, I got an Instagram video call from him. I was like, oh my days, no, no, no. And yes, it was my McLaren. And yes, it has been crashed. And yes, it is the exact same damage as last time. But there, there's actually the airbags this time in the dash, so it's a little bit worse. And I said to him, I need to buy this car back. I need to do it again. And then I had a bit of time to think about it. And if I can get it for the right price, I am going to have a go on it and try and rebuild it again. But I'm not sure how the insurers are going to categorise it again or what they're going to do and how they're going to value a McLaren that's already been written off. You can't double cut S a car, but if a car's been in two accidents, it affects the resale value, so it would have to be substantially cheaper to interest anyone in buying it. So, blah, blah, blah. But I've got some naughty little photos of it, which I'm going to show you now so you can see the damage for yourself. But before I do that, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button, but go and smash that like button or you will get seven years of bad luck like the McLaren. That McLaren is cursed, and believe me, you don't want to be cursed either. So go and do that right now. Alright, so that's done. Here are the photos of the McLaren. Oh, that's terrible, isn't it? But yeah, you can see that it's been smacked right in the front end. I believe what happened is the brakes just locked up. Uh, someone pulled right out in front of him and he just smacked straight into him like that, like BOSH! Pretty nasty collision, whereas last time it was actually just, uh, I think he hit a lamp post. This time, we're talking two car pile up. Luckily, everybody was okay, everybody's fine. I think there's a little bit of whiplash in there, you know. 
stiff neck, few claims, you know, they're one of them ones. But other than that, everybody's okay. So that is the main thing. That The first thing I asked him on the phone was, are you okay? Is everybody involved okay? Because health comes first. You know, that's that's the most important thing. He said the, the airbags come out of the McLaren. It was like a ton of bricks hitting you right in the nose. Comment below whether you think I should buy that again, go out of my way to rebuild it again. But this time, if I was to do it, surely we've got to take the pink wrap off. Because if it's not the car that's cursed, it's got to be the pink wrap. So, Yanni, if you're watching, next time we're getting it wrapped, it is not going pink. Pink is not a lucky colour for that car. Yeah, so funny story. I actually messaged my guy at McLaren who was sorting parts out for me. Shout out to Harmesh. If you need anything from McLaren, he's your guy to call parts-wise and or booking you in for a service. I haven't got the thing for that. That's annoying. So I texted him and said, that's got to be the most damaged McLaren you've ever had in. And he said, no. He said, there's one worse. But it's a privately owned car that gets repaired privately. So nobody would know what car it is but he told me it was a 675. So if you're buying a 675, just remember, there's one out there that's been absolutely ragged around and smashed up. So don't buy that one, but you'll never know what one that one is. Oh, here's the keys. So yeah, to my surprise, that's not even the most crashed McLaren in the country. Can you believe it? So my feelings at the moment are, I've got to get it and repair it, but it all depends whether I can or not whether I can buy it, whether I can even buy it. So yes, the GTR has been on the channel for about a month now, but I haven't been driving her around. Because of the nature of the car, it's so low mileage, and it's such perfect condition, I just don't want to take it out there and risk uh, chipping the front bumper or curbing a wheel. It's not worth it to me. The car is absolutely beautiful, and in my opinion, sat in my garage like this, that is only earning money, because you won't find a GTR of that spec and that quality anywhere else in the country. And I mean it. So that's why the GTR has been sat like a sleeping beauty in the garage for the minute. And then D Max. Obviously, I'm going to D Max. I'm going to D Max. D Max. D Max. Yeah, so there is two slots left to sponsor my car. And if you don't know what that is, let me go through that quickly. £400. 10% of the money gets donated to a mental health charity for men and you get a 20 second shout out of your company on a video and your company logo gets put on the side of my M4 whilst I'm driving through all the countries in Europe on the D-Max rally. You're going to be in all my videos. It's going to be in all the D-Max photos that the car gets featured in. So it's a great opportunity for you guys to get your company out there to a large audience much beyond mine and much beyond what you are doing at the moment. So if you want to be part of that and you are interested, Go follow the links in the description, uh, follow me on Instagram, and then message me, and we can arrange that. But as I said, there's only two spots left. It's first come, first serve, and the two companies that pulled out, we're not gonna say any names, but disappointing. If you want to get involved, you know what to do. Don't comment under YouTube, message me on Instagram. That's the way forward. It's getting closer, you know, it's only, what? Four weeks Friday, it's four weeks Friday. We're going to DMAC, it's gonna be insane. I've got so much to do before then, so many videos to film and get out to you guys. But on that, I'm gonna document every day, everything we do is gonna be a um, crazy movie from my perspective. So you guys are gonna absolutely love that. And before I go up there, I'm actually going up to Powerhand in Scotland to film a video of our new Powerhand that is finally ready. Can you remember back in January when I was making the scrapyard videos and we were doing talking about the picker and we were going to get a power hand and all that stuff. The power hand is ready. It is finally ready. It's a Hyundai machine that's come in off the ship. There was a little bit of problem processing it, but it, it's going to be ready. And I'm going to go up to the factory and have a look at our machine just before it comes to the yard. You know what? They've invited me up there. I'm going to go meet Murray, the guy behind it all and see Wagwan. So that's going to be interesting. Plenty of content coming your way. You know what guys, I had a little bit of a week off. I'll be honest with you, my heart wasn't in it this week. I just wanted to have a little bit of a rest and just sort of catch up with the people around me because you know sometimes when you're a little bit distant and you're not there, you can lose track of what's really important in life. And I urge you, if you spend a lot of time on YouTube, if you spend a lot of time on social media, sometimes it's always good to put your phone down Go and interact with the people around you and really remember that you only get one chance at living and the people around you are most important. So yeah, always make sure you've got time for family and friends because time is not a given and you never know when the moment's gonna be your last. But that's enough of the motivational shit over. BMW i8, 
I've got parts for the BMW 8 to go and pick up. There was actually a burnt out one which I'm buying parts off of. I'm just trying to negotiate a price because BMW i8 parts are bloody expensive. I don't know if you've ever seen. A headlight's like two grand. Bloody bumper's 200 pound. Who made that up then? So you can buy a bumper for 200 pound, but you can't buy a headlight for less than two to three grand. Bloody ridiculous, mate. I should have found a few parts for that. I never expected that build to take so long, but it, it, it has and sometimes it does, so. What can you do? What can you do? Do you know what I mean? So that is going to be uh, today's little catch up video over and then look forward to the rest of the week where you guys are going to get some nice content out there. So hit the subscribe button and hit the like button now. Remember seven years of bad luck if you don't. If you haven't already, I'm giving you one last chance. Yeah, put your post notifications on as well because you don't want to miss the uploads this week. I'm ramping up the uh, quality as you can tell today. Got the new camera out with the new mic. It's going to be a good few months ahead of us guys. So. Grab a, grab a drink, get yourself some beers, and watch some more of my videos, please. But until next time, I'm Henry Arnold, that's the GTR, and hopefully she sells.